Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Duck into a video. Oh, I fear. Hi, buddy. I don't fear you. There's nothing to fear but fear it. Oh, Scoob. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That is awesome. Um, so I thought I was going to come in here and, like, do something, but now that I think about it. Oh, wait. That is a double. Look at that. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is it. Is that a glitch sawmill? Is that a glitch? A glitchy glitch? Let's see here. Yeah, that's a glitch. That's okay. Watch this. It looked like I duplicated it. Boop. <laughs> I didn't do this one. Um, boop. I think I'm going to do some more cleanup. I think I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I didn't have any plans. Um, dude, I'm not, I'm not whitelisted. I can't. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Woo. All right. So let's go to menu. Go to uh, send money to fears. How much money you got fears? You got 500,000. How about a mill, sir? Transfer. Done and done. All for you. It's all for you. <coughs> Sorry. There you go. Pink. Thank you. Woo. Scoob. Okay, so I want to come over here and start building some bins. Hi, guys. Hi, Morgs. Morgs. Uh, is it? Morgs. M O R G S. 1974. That's my buddy who's a professional marksman. He is um, world champion. By the way, what are you doing, Code? Well, I gotta clear out some space over here, and I think I'm gonna make the bins about the same size as the the uh, these, only just not as tall. So, if we go with the zeros, and then we go with the large floor, and turn rotate, we do something like this, like. This rotate. This this rotate. This this rotate. Now turn and this and get in there, please, please to be placing. Oh wait, no, oh, hold up, hold up, dude. Why would you stand in the... You see that I'm building. Do you, are you, you're asking for a blacklist. Is what you're getting ready... You're getting a blacklist. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's cool. It's cool. There we go. That's good. I think. And then is there like a half floor that I could do? Maybe, maybe I could do it with the walls. Hold on. Let's try the walls. Boop. And boop. Uh... Rotate. No, rotate, turn, rotate. Like that. Dude, seriously? What are you doing? I think... <laughs> he is, he's... He's gonna kill himself. Oh no! <laughs> okay. That was a little off. Can he actually die from jumping in those things too much? He is glitching it out though, so. Goodbye, Goffin. Bye bye, buddy. Bye bye, buddy. I'm so sad. Um, what should I build out of these? Um, like what material? I should keep it cheap, right? Uh, or should I go expensive? We could go. Ooh, no. We could go, yes. Yeah, we could do this. Uh, it's gonna take a little while to chop, though. Oh no. It's the only reason I don't like building out of this stuff is because it takes forever to choppy chop. Hmm. What if we did something like this? There we go. We'll just set that down right there. And, hold on. Can I, can I maniax this thing? Is it, is it a one sweep hit? 
It is not. Oh, that's going to take forever. That's not what I want to do. All right. Um, here, let's let's reformat this thing. One, two, three, and four. Take this. We'll drop it in over here. Get that nice one by one going. And we'll go we'll go 1.2 by 1.2. That way I don't have to be completely accurate with my swings. I guess if I were to go 1.1 by 1.2, it'd still be slightly larger than the one by one. You know what? Let's do that. Let's go let's go one by one on the Y. And 1.2 on the Z. And then that way. I can build more efficiently with my wood, my wood, like Bobby Duke always says, wood. I can't remember which one that is. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Man, I just, I don't know. For some reason, I, I feel like this makes more progress. I know it doesn't. I know it actually takes longer. But it feels like I'm actually doing something. So, I don't know. I don't understand. Why does it not feel like progression whenever I don't have to chop so many times? Hmm. Okay, that's still... That is still cooking. <laughs> Boom. Right in the middle. Boom. Right in the middle. Duh. Duh. I wonder if I can stick these two. Are these are these too large? Will these mess up if I if I do this? Hold on. If I take this, move it down to Whoa. Okay. Uh, rotate turn. Turn turn. So if I move this right down here to to like here. And it should it's got a straight shot out the back there, so I don't have to worry about it so much. And I can always move them later. There we go. Oh god! <laughs> you scared me. I forgot to change that size. Dang it! Oh, your gooses. All right, let's go with a one and a one point two. This right in here. There we go. I remember when this first took off. Oh, by the way, I saw Jack's uh, hot pepper challenge. I'm down. Let me let me collect up some some old. It wasn't old spice. The the old Monterey, old. Whatever kind he had, let me let me go get that same kind, and I'm on it. You know what? This we can actually use the maniax for. So let's go back into this mode. Where's that maniax? There it is. We'll put that on number two. Actually, for for the time being, we can put that on one. There we go. So uh, one. Oh my gosh, code! Hi, buddy. How are you? So I figure what I could do is, since this base doesn't have quite so many presents, I can stack everything kind of together and just leave it. So like all presents together, and all pumpkins together, and all all space heads together, or wobble, wobble heads, you know. And I don't really have to worry about it. I'll put like a display of each one out in front. I figure that, that might work. So the first one I think I'm just going to drop all axes into. <sighs> Not really sort them, and I know it's going to bug a lot of you, but I, do, I just really don't have time to like build an entire sorting thing and then sort them all. Um, for those of you who are wondering about the Koji contest, no, I still have not announced it because yes, I'm still waiting on four of the cards and yeah, it's probably my fault because I purchased them from the wrong place. I should have just gone to GameStop, but I didn't, so that was my bad fam. 
but I will get them to you. I promise. Oh, no, no. What am I doing? Why am I clicking? I need backspaces. Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Three, four. There we go. Um, yeah, that's good. And then I can just start picking up. Dude, seriously. <laughs> Whackers. Oh gosh, there's a lot in that one. Um, hmm. Well. Oh, this is a rusty axe, isn't it? Hold on. There we go. One swing. One swing. You go over there. You go over there. Uh oh. Oh, can I? Can I grab it and throw it over there? Good. So, I'm going to have to pick these up twice. Well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe can I just chuck them in here like this? Like, would this work? This kind of works. Dude, seriously, seriously, stop, stop, stop. Oh, yeah, I was like, is that guy hacking? No, he's standing on a, on a glass door that I left up there. <laughs> That's silly. Oh man. By the way, happy Wednesday everyone. Um, we are getting closer and closer to schools opening back up, people going, like kids going back to school and all that good stuff. Um, we saw with the sports team, the Marlins, like 10 or 11 of their players and two of their coaches now have COVID. So they're out for the season. Oh my gosh. Um, I know that the the baseball season is supposed to be open and the fans are supposed to be not in the stands and stuff like that, but I've still seen videos of people in large gatherings, churches, large gatherings, bars, large gatherings, people wear a mask and stay away from people. Like... <sighs> America just isn't taking this seriously. And maybe it's just me being my paranoid self. And there's a lot of people out there be like, Don't listen to the fake news media. Sorry, I listen to pretty much all media news. And you know what they're telling me? Wear a mask. Stay inside. Don't go anywhere. And trust me, I understand. If you are the parent of small children and you want them to go back to school so they can get the social experience, it's not going to be the same. It is It is not anywhere near what it was when they were still in school last year. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and drop these because I don't really need them in my inventory at the moment. It's, it's bad. It is bad. Now, it might not be as inflated. It might not be as crazy. But you know what? If there's a slight chance, a, a, a 1% chance, I'm going to take it. And I'm, I'm going to make sure that my kids stay safe and make sure that my family stays safe. Because as you guys know, my wife, she went through cancer. Um, not last year, but the year before. She did radiation. Uh, she did chemo and she did surgery. She is still in recovery. Like, it's not something that just, oh, it's all over and done with. No, she is an amputee. And if you guys know, don't know what that means, um, when you have a really bad um, experience with your, your leg or your arm and they cut it off, okay? Like, no, she still has her arms and stuff. She had a mastectomy, if you must know. Um, she had breast cancer, and it's this—it's the same thing. A piece of her was cut off, and she's still healing. Now, maybe, maybe that's why I'm so paranoid about it, because we've had to be paranoid for a really long time. Like, I've had to be extra careful about the kids getting sick or having fevers or anything like that. Like, so maybe this seeing this has just been. I don't know. And now I hear that the the 
vaccines have started testing and come to find out that we've been spending billions of dollars to these companies. Like, like one of the companies in its 30 years of existence has not created one vaccine. And what was its qualifications for getting the billions of dollars? $1.2 billion for this, this particular one? I don't think we're being open and honest about what they're doing with the money, with the America's tax money. <sighs> I'm, okay, you know what? We're getting too political and I need to stay out of it because I'm not a politician and I don't know the whole stories. So I'm going to shut my mouth before I get it in trouble. <laughs> uh. But seriously though, like we need to have open and honest conversations about everything that's going on and stop this blaming game. Stop the, the what if game, you know, Hey, there's a disease out there. There's a virus. You can keep yourself more safe by wearing a mask and social distancing. You do those two things and it helps. That's a proven fact. Period. So, do that. Well, the chances are low. Dude, dude, why would you take the chance? Why would you even remotely think that somebody else would want to take the chance? Just don't. Don't take the chance. That's like saying, um, parachuting is perfectly safe. Sure. Sure it is. But there's a chance. So I'm not going to parachute. <laughs> Uh, I've taken a lot of risk in my life and I, I'm not really up or king and just jumping in the the first chance I get at trying to catch COVID. No, 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 thank you. I will take my chances elsewhere, please. Check, check, please. Cash out. I'm not fool, am I? Come on. Seven, eight. I'm, I'm getting some serious lag here. Okay, there we go. Uh, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. There we go. What do you say? What do you, what what do you say? So many pink candies. Yeah, it's a thing. Honestly, I'm actually I'm I'm kind of looking forward to the next episode of uh, the Pixels list. Uh, if you guys didn't realize, I'm doing another video series. Uh, yeah, yeah, I play other things besides lumber. <laughs> what? Code doesn't play lumber? Dear goodness, the world truly is ending. It's true! It's not true. The world's not ending. Well, at least I hope it's not ending. I'm not, I'm not the one to, you know, go around and say, It's the end of the world as we know it. Hi, Olivia. Oh, uh, sorry. I think I just hit you with my truck. I am so sorry. Scooch. Scooch. Now, now that this one... Now that this one doesn't have any... Come on. Come on. Let's go. Now that that one doesn't have anything in it... Drop, drop, drop. Five, four, three, two, one. Oof. Oh my goodness. I can start taking these off the base. Whee. <laughs> Do I have a purpose of the pink candy? Is there a purpose? If you guys have never seen it before, it just it causes pink smoke to come out your face. 
and I've never found a secret with it, so I'm I'm not sure. Hmm. Open them. I'm gonna open the boxes. I know a lot of you guys are like, no, code, don't open them. Why not? I mean, what's the use of having an axe if it can't be unboxed? Ooh, that should be the title. Unboxing Axes. And I'm, sh I'm sure I've got another couple of them around here somewhere. Some alpha boxes and beta boxes. Is that nine? That's nine. And I'll carry one. <laughs> I would love to make like a super ultra mega base, but... I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon. I didn't realize I had this many axes. I, I might have to actually sort these. This is crazy. Or at least line these up. Like That might behoove me. You guys know what behoove means? It's kind of like beneficial. It's, it's good, good for you. Anything in the back of this truck? There is not. So, let's go ahead and drive this off the base. Whoa. Wait, was that a star hat? Hold up. No. <laughs> thought you had a star hat. It's the birthday hat. Alright, let's grab these. It's the Lucid Candy Cane Axe. The most noblest of all axes. What sweet secrets must you hide from me, Candy Cane? I can never tell the world. I think... This one's one too, right? That's the rust axe. And isn't this the chicken axe? Chicken axe. And that's a fire axe. That's a manny axe. We know what that one is. Your backpack's full. Dang it. Boom, 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 boom. All right, here we go, nine more. Uh, to the person that just subscribed, thank you so much. Welcome to the Code Primate family. I hope that you stay around and stick around for more awesome fun times inside Lumber Tycoon 2. What is that? Is that my original hatchet? Oh my goodness. That's <laughs> my, my original hatchet. Here, I'll, I'm just going to take this. From, I'm just going to take... Oh, were you trying to sneak in? Oh, buddy. Okay. That's the guy that I had to kick off the base earlier. I wonder if he's any better now. Should we un un blacklist him? Why not? I'm a, I'm a good guy. There we go. There we go. There you go, buddy. Was oh, he trying to glitch out the cars? It's not your car, dude. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, he's it's it's a lag. Is it lag? I love the fire axes. They're so fun. Let's just keep an eye on him, see what he does. Do it. Jump in the pink car and start glitching it out. Hold on. Let's get it ready. <sighs> Just watch him for a second. It's like a little security camera. What is he doing? Do 
Did he drop it in there? Dude, it doesn't take ownership. It doesn't it doesn't affect it. Looks like he's calmed down. All right, we'll keep him on. It's it's okay. It'll be good. It'll be good for him. Uh, why am I so tired? Oh, hey. Mm. Somebody said in my comments I should make a. Code drinks coffee ASMR. I don't know if you guys would even like that or enjoy it. I mean, I think it's kind of disgusting hearing the sound of myself, but you know, that's just me. <sighs> There we go. Much better. All right. Do we have all axes? Looks like there might be a couple more over here. Which we're just going to have to deal with. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Somebody said that in my comments. Code, why do you always have 9.5 axes hanging out in your inventory? a lot of gifts and uh, I just kind of picked them up that one day and never really touched them again I was making a museum at one time on my first base and then somebody like used some TNT near it and it was close enough to explode <laughs> lost everything. Well, not lost, but just messed it all up. I was, I was kind of done. Uh, a lot of you are going to be asking the question, Code, um, my base got stolen. What can you do? The answer? Nothing. Uh, I, can't, I can't do anything inside this game. I am not an admin. I don't have any special pool. Alright. There's, there's not a whole heck of a lot that can be done. It just is what it is. Now, there used to be this form that you could fill out and everything else. Uh, I'm, you can fill it out if you want. I have not seen anybody like on the reset list in quite some time. So, did I not pick that up? I thought I picked that up the first time. Unless somebody else just dropped it. There's a maniac. Yay. Okay. Let's see. We got a gingerbread axe right here. We got a fire axe right here. Beta axe. Oh no, I opened the duck. That's okay. <laughs> I'm not clicking the duck, I promise. It's cute, but I've, I've got stuff to do. I've got to, I've got to build, I've got to, I've got to sort. We are trying to speed sort this base. Well, not really speed sort, but you know, I'm, I'm just saying. Backpack's full. Okay. More inventory space. That's what I wish. If I, if I could change something about this, it would be shopping carts at Tom's. And more space in the inventory in the backpack. That would be my wish. Code, the pine and fur samples for detection have fallen on the ground. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, sure did, didn't it? So which one's which? <laughs>
Huh. Okay. Whoopsie. Whoopsie daisy. There we go. Let's check this one. Come on. What good are you if it can't be detected? There we go. Up and over. And a jumpy poo. Pretend like it's right in the middle. There we go. So it goes to the right one. All set. Oh look, another axe. And another axe. And another axe. And another axe. Axes for days. There's an axe. That's an axe. Code, what is your favorite wood? Blue. <clears throat> My favorite wood is blue, and it's so favorite that we even took the song um, Lost Boys and uh, made a song out of it for lumber. I am a code boy from Lumberland, always hanging out with default IO. And when we're bored, we'll play in the maze. I could stare for hours at that blue haze. Chop, chop, code boy, they say to me, here away from Roblox City. Hoover sprinkled all my blue wood into the ocean. Said to believe in him and me. <laughs> um, hold up. Did, did I miss some more axes? Uh, no. No, that was, that was it for the axes over here. Come on, dude. Seriously? Here, actually, yeah, that's that's a good idea. No, no, good idea. Let's get this one out of here, because we are done with it. <gasps> Did I just run over a duck? <laughs> no, poor ducky. It was all like... <laughs> oh, gosh, we're at 33 minutes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, so unlike most YouTubers, I do not get, get like all excitable sometimes. Sometimes it's just uh, me cleaning up my base, but the main point is to come in here, hang out, and just chill. So I've got no axes on me. <laughs> Let's go find ourselves a Twitter axe. Um, you know what? End times will do. End times will do. That'll do, kid. That'll do. Get out of my swamp. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching this episode of uh, Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Steven had the night off. He's taking vacation. So, love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Did I say that already? I probably already said that. If not, it's cool. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. Oh, outro.